I, again, I got to give a lot of props to my club coach. Um, he, his name was Peter Zhao. He doesn't coach gymnastics anymore. And, um, he really, he's, he's Chinese and he brought that culture to the gym. And so the number one rule was respect and we had to respect ourselves, respect each other and respect the equipment. And if we, you know, disobeyed quote unquote, any of those is when he actually got really mad. Um, but other than that, I could tell, you know, whenever he was disciplining us or pushing us, um, it came from a place of he believed in us or he was pushing us to be better. And it never felt like he had our, he, it always felt like he had our best interest at heart. So when he was getting on me, I was never like, oh, he's being mean or demeaning. It was like, he knows I got a little left in the tank. I need to like, you know, show up for one more routine. And so I think, you know, whether I knew it at the time or not, looking back, I think he did such an amazing job of building that trust with not just me, but our entire team to kind of support each other and, and push each other in the gym. And I know that, you know, now that I'm older and kind of, you know, hearing other people's stories, it was not always that way. Um, but I think that I do have to give our gym credit of, you know, gymnastics is a monotonous sport. And how do you keep young athletes interested and motivated and, you know, uh, excited about coming in the gym every day when they're conditioning half the time? And so, you know, adding games to it, adding competitions to it and figuring out a way to make it fun for them. I mean, I think that's why I'm still so passionate about this sport is because they kind of always gave me that foundation of a boost rather than, you know, making me hate being there because let's face it, we all started gymnastics because it was fun and we loved doing it. And, you know, it gets serious at a young age in gymnastics. And so how do you keep that fire alive? while still, you know, being serious and disciplined, but also loving the sport at the same time. I think that's the biggest question.